Hi folks, I'm Gary Dunchy with Big Ben Saddlery and this month's tack tip I uh, want to talk a little bit about saddles getting under a horse's belly and uh, you know whenever somebody brings you a, a repair job through the front door and, and they bring all the parts in three different boxes you know there's been a pretty good problem and usually that means that it got under a horse's belly and uh, just kind of see if we couldn't figure out how to not get it under the horse's belly where they can kick it to pieces. The main cause 90 percent of the time that I've seen in my 52 years here at the saddle shop is because uh, the cinches weren't snugged up. The uh, front cinch, you know, just because you can ride a loose cinch doesn't mean that you need to. Something can go wrong and and you get bucked off and then whatever else happens that saddle might turn and get under the horse's belly and and one of the big causes one of the big reasons is the flank cinch people not snugging it up leaving a gap between the flank cinch and the horse's belly and you know it's fine you don't really need it most of the time unless you can rope something but it's real easy for something to get between the flank and the horse's belly and uh, you know, dried sunflower stalk, brush, uh, whatever, uh, tree branch, a lot of things will fit up in there you didn't think could. And uh, whenever that happens, business usually picks up and it's not good for the saddle. So if you just make sure that you're, you don't have to ride with a super tight cinch, but just make sure that your cinches are snugged up good where your saddle won't turn if something bad does happen then you'll be way better off down the road because if your saddle stays on the top side of the horse it's a whole lot better for everybody thanks for watching